What is going on, guys? And welcome back to our Pokemon Omega Ruby randomized Nuzlocke. I'm adding Pokemon back. I feel like the absence of Pokemon did make it shorter, did make the intro shorter. But like, come on, this is a Pokemon game. Saying just Omega Ruby, I don't know. I don't know, it feels weird. So welcome back to our Pokemon Omega Ruby randomized Nuzlocke. And in today's episode, we're headed to Mount Chimney. We're headed to Slateport, actually, first, because I need to get my Slateport encounter. So, uh, the team's still doing good, no deaths yet, Shamungus, Bump, and Knight are almost up to, uh, level par with the rest of our team, which is actually really good. Um, went ahead, arranged everybody's moves, just cause it was starting to, starting to get on me, so I, I made everybody's moves all nice and good, all nice and pretty. Uh, yeah, nothing else really changed in the last day. I had a good time at Universal yesterday, thank you guys for, for wishing me and Charlotte well. We, we had a good time. Um... Didn't end up going on Velocicoaster, though, Sag. But the line was just like, I didn't have Fast Pass this time, because the last time Claire uh, was able to get us Fast Pass for Universal, and I wasn't... Listen, I wasn't about to wait an hour and 45 minutes to 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 be on a roller coaster I've already been on. So, anyway, don't know why I'm boring you guys with my vacation trip stuff, but um, we're back in Omega Ruby. I'm feeling good. That's a hidden item all the way down there. Oh, wait, is that one of the Mega Stones? Like, aren't the Megas usually like that? Also, Lady, are you, are you allowed to be down here? You're not on a bike. Antidote. Okay. Well, that is not, um, I was like, oh, that's a weird Mega Stone. Uh, my passionate love for my bike has brought me here. You're not even on a bike. She's not on a bike. Champion Melissa, oh my god, with Chandelier. I love this Pokemon, dude. Like, top top 10 Pokemon for me. I don't know why I'm so drawn to the fact that I just boosted his fire type. Ooh, ouch. Um, I don't know why I'm so drawn to just, I don't know, him looking cool. Him looking like a ghost sh Chandelier. Like, I don't know, it just kind of makes sense. I'm going to use Water Gun even though its power is weakened. Shamungus is not going to hit himself. Okay, let's try that again. You are using Phantom Force. And I'm luckily I'm not gonna hit myself. Great, okay, well you didn't hit yourself that time. What if I just sketched Phantom Force? That would be kinda hilarious. Um Let's hit the acid spray. I don't think this is gonna do that much. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're we're chilling. I'm not gonna hit myself again. Dude, dude, Shamungus, Shamungus, you're really He's not, okay, he's not. And look, he's laughing. The Chandelier was laughing, dude. Did you see that? All right, guy. Okay, all right. This is how this is gonna go. Star, come just destroy this guy. Destroy the Chandelier. Maybe I don't like him anymore. Maybe, maybe this is where I stop liking this guy. Trump card. Whoa. I have, I feel like I've never seen that move. Like I've seen it, you know, I've seen it, but I haven't seen it that much. Um, at least not animated. I don't think I've ever seen it animated like that, which is cool. Anyway, don't know why you had those moves. Phantom Force was kind of scary, though. Uh, Star's up to level 26. Good stuff, Star. Our level cap is 27, though. So that's a little bad. Shamungus wants to learn Storm Throw. Do you? Wow, you, yes, you do. This is not Circle Throw. That was a very important lesson I had to learn early on. Um, this is kind of good. Like, that's a, this is a great move. Amazing move. Why would I put it on Shamungus, though? Like, that's the thing, you know? Like, it's just, it's, it's good. I just, I, I don't know. I like, I like the, you know. Water gun, acid spray type stuff. Acid spray is great. Maybe we'll get rid of stun spore. I don't want to get rid of sketch because I can get a really good water move out of sketch. Maybe. Mm. You know, okay. I'm going to forget water gun because I can hopefully sketch a better. Because right now he's drowning anyway. Um, so hopefully. 
by the time that he evolves into Celio, changes his ability so I can actually use water moves, um, he will have learned like a better water attack, and then that is what I can replace Sketch with. Or I can just sketch a better water attack. And you guys pointed out to me that I'm very silly. Um, this is, I mean, this is not the first time someone's pointed out that I'm silly. But I'm, a, I'm especially silly because apparently Water Shuriken is special attack. I don't know. That uh, I'm going to be real, though. That doesn't make any sense. Because they're shurikens. Why would they be, why would they be special attack? I don't know. That, that doesn't make sense to me. But... Um, speaking of Water Shuriken, actually, if I can, if I can actually access my PC, um, we caught that Oshwat, and I never ability checked him. So, you have Snow Warning. Interesting. Um, neutral nature, not bad, not bad, Merlin, not bad. We could, we could possibly, you know, we have a lot of other water types right now, like a lot. Like, here, here's, here's our box of just water types, and then... Everyone else. Let me just... Okay, that's not where I meant to. I'm just gonna, like, put all the water types down here. And also, this is... This is not including Ruben, who is in the party. But it's, like... That's... That's kind of almost, like, half our box. That's five... Six Pokemon out of... Maybe, like... Ah, uh, jeez. I can't even... Okay, six, twelve... That's like a quarter of our entire box. Yeah, it actually... A, a quarter of all the Pokemon we've caught are water type. What are the odds? I don't like that. I do not like that. And also, we, we have a lot of dark types, too. I'm also just realizing, because dark... Dark... Uh, you'll, you'll be dark. Dark. Okay, so not that many dark types, I guess. Whatever. I, it doesn't matter. I'm just pointing out that there's a lot of water. What's with all the water in Hoenn? All right. God. Anyway, um, we're in Slateport. I got to do the beauty contest, so we're going to go do the do the beauty contest, I guess, because there's a static encounter if we do it. So, sounds good to me. How you doing, lady? Um, she, she, like, chose me to be a trainer. You are really going to try a contest for me? Wow. Y yay. Anyway, okay, that's what I'm calling it. Uh, oh, if you're gonna take the stage, you've gotta come with me first. All right. Um, I have zero interest in what's going on here, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna move along with the dialogue as quickly as possible, and I don't know, just try and distract you guys. So you don't look. I don't know. So you don't look at the screen. I, I don't know. I don't really know how I could maneuver around this. I guess I could just cut it out. But then you'd miss... Then you'd miss this! Look at the drip! Ah, it's, ah, so cool, yeah. It's gonna be awesome. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, that's how I feel every time I get I get ready for stream. Like, looking like that. Every time I put on a random... Like, <laughs> t-shirt in the morning. And I'm like, okay. And Charlotte's like, you're not gonna wear pants for stream again? I'm like, why would I? Um, all right. Welcome to Pokemon Super Pass. First time trainers. First introduction. Okay, cool. It's cool. If you're in a contest, normal rank. I want to enter a contest. Yes. And I, let's enter it with... I doubt anyone else is going to have Mega Mewtwo. So I think let's go for Mega Mewtwo. Um, let's... Let's... Let's go for coolness. Yeah. I'm a coolness kind of guy. Yeah, changed in my cool costume. It's like me when I put on my, my tank top. It's shoulders for every Friday. Which, again, you guys have been killing the light goals. So keep killing it. If, if we can hit 500 on today's episode, we'll get a slightly longer episode tomorrow. Because, you know, my episodes keep being 40 minutes by accident. So we'll get our hour power tomorrow. It'll be super good. Why is that a Puchiana? That's not my, that's not me. Why I'm supposed to be the only one up here. Okay. These guys think they're cool. They think they're they think they're tough shit. All right. Wait until they see Mega Mewtwo. After okay, after this one, Tailster has to come out um, and be a, a swallow. But I mean, again, listen, man. Hey, Taylor, you're looking great, man. Um, let's just me, me and Mercury. Whoa. 
Yeah, like, what are they going to do? What? They didn't care at all. They barely clapped. What? Why? Okay, let's use extra sensory on these, on these ungrateful people. Kelsey try to show up and and. Dude, wait. Okay. He cut in front of me, and now now they're trying to show off. Pretty calm and confident. All right. Sure. Whatever. When I use extra sensory on these on this crowd, they won't know what to do. Yeah, Pooch Hand is just biting some dude in the crowd. Like, oh god, please. But it failed. Oh, get destroyed, dude. Now go ahead. Extra sensory. Only two hearts? Did it? Oh, it worked. Yeah, I'll take my third heart, please. Actually, okay, this is a lot more, like, in-depth than I thought it would. Um, this is pretty cool. So I feel like if I use if I use the same move, um, works great if the user goes first this turn. I do go first this turn. Okay, Swift. I will say, back in the Diamond and Pearl anime, um, I think when when Dawn would do like the the beauty contests or whatever, whenever Piplup, or no, was it Baneri? It might have been Baneri or Pachirisu. I don't remember. Um, but I, I think it was Baneri. Whenever they would use Swift, that looked like the coolest Pokemon move of all time, dude. Like, peep, 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 peep. You know, Bubble Beam everywhere, just, you know, the audience would go crazy. Like, that was, that anime was hype. I have it on DVD somewhere in the house. I just, I don't know, I couldn't tell you where it is. Also, you know Fire Fang? Wow. Really excited the audience. All right, calm down, audience. Poochin ain't that cool, but whatever. Um, I think I'm in the lead. I think. My Swift was pretty good there. Badly startles Pokemon that used a move of the same type. Excites the audience in any kind of contest. Works well if the same type... If it is the same type as the move used by the last Pokemon. Okay, well, I'm... I'm going first again. So why don't we just use... Why don't we just use... Swift again. I'm going to use Fly and Press because I want to see how funny it would look on this. Why'd they give me a Poké Doll? That seems interesting, but I'll take it. All right, I should use Swift again. Oh, maybe not. Never mind. I'll take another one. I'll take another heart there. Thank you very much. Um, Showed it's hard and... Whoa, oh, Aaron. Whoa, dude, what are you doing in front of the audience? No wonder he only got two hearts. Um, Poochin, what are you doing? Tackling... Four hearts for that tackle? You're joking. This game is broken. Okay, at least that looked cool. There wasn't a Pokemon there, but that was cool. Okay, is it done now? Do I win? I have to win, right? Coolness is radiating? What is this? This is bullshit. That's cheating. That's... Okay, I don't... I still think he's not in the lead. <laughs> there... He's gonna win. He's gonna win. Badly startles Pokemon that you use to move the same type. Future Sight. Okay, hold on. Works well with the same type. If it's the same type as a move used by the last Pokemon. No way. No way it would be. I think I just have to use Extra Sensory and hope for the best. Hope, hope someone maybe uses... Echoed voice. Okay, no, not psychic. Rip. And Poochiana's gonna use bite or some shit. Man, this sucks. Scary face? Yeah. Are you gonna try and startle me? No way, right? That's cheating. Try to taunt the Pokemon that are feeling pumped? Yeah, get destroyed. Extra sensory, come on. Mercury, we we take this, Mercury. We take this, I'm telling you. Ugh. I threw. Oh! No, I think I startled some, actually. This is huge. I think if I if I had used Swift on round two, I think that really would have helped out. You guys will probably tell me in the comments. Like, I know I'm always getting critiques on my normal gameplay, so this should just be the same. Oh, wait, no, did I win? 
Appeal move number five is its last move. Which move will you use? Um, I mean, see, this one has a jamming, a jamming effect, right? So it has an, it has an extra chance for an extra heart. So, I mean, I might as well just use it again. Um, take down. All right, calm down, dude. Calm down. Calm down, please. Okay, I do not have beauty contest moves. This sucks. This uh, Oh, this blows. This blows. Okay. Was disappointed. Wait, they were disappointed in me? Is it because I use the same move? I'm ruining it. I, I, I ruined it for Mercury. I ruined it for myself. This sucks. This is by far the worst episode. This this episode sucks. I think I'm I like I think I'm I'm done. Like that's it, right? Man, talent round complete. Wait, there's more rounds? Don't tell me there's more rounds. Results. Okay, I win, right? Please. I I can't tell. I got I got third? This day, dude, I'm telling you who's cheating. He was cheating, I swear to God. Like, what was that? What was... Th Someone's waiting for you, guest room. Whatever, dude. Just give me my counter, man. This this episode sucks. I'm so sad. Uh, it's a real shame. I should have used Swift, man. I should have used Swift again. Oh, no. I knew it looked cool in the anime, and I still didn't use it. Thanks for the Lumberry. Where do I get the Pokemon now? Don't give up, thanks. Yeah, yippee, woo. Okay, well. Wait, did she only give me a Pokemon if I win? Don't tell me that. You give me a Pokemon. Hi, you got a minute? Yes, for a Pokemon? So do you perfectly looked inspired, so I rust out, created cosplay Pikachu. Okay. Looks fantastic on any Pikachu. Apparently, Contest Pikachu is now Rampardos, which I'm down for. Uh, we got to get this Rampardos a name, so I got to run all the way back to wherever the name raider is. But, Pixelate. Normal type moves become fairy type moves. Interesting. Dragon counter Rampardos. Um, the fact that you are attacked down kinda blows kinda it just slightly blows a lot um but it's not bad Let's, we gotta get a name for it so this is our encounter for the beauty contest um yeah let me grab you gotta move you to go name you i'm just gonna run over there i don't i don't know if it's in this city or not but I'm gonna do like a joey cut and i'll see you in a second okay so we have made it to the name raider and Rampardos' new name will be... Wait for it. Gotta load, gotta load, gotta load. And let's go like... Uh, let's go this one. Yeah, sure. Uh, turning on notifications so I don't miss anything. Enjoying your content. Names Mads is Bads. It's my best friend that knows absolutely nothing about Pokemon, and I think naming one after her would be hilarious. Well, I agree with you. This is a female Rampardos, so this is going to be Mads is Bads. Um, after your friend. Let me go ahead and type this all out because there's a lot of Z's in here. You'll see in a second. Okay, I wanted to just make absolutely sure that I spelled this right. So, Mads is Bads is our Rampardos. Um, <laughs> this Pokemon will be known as Mads is Bads. I hope your friend who knows nothing about Pokemon is very lucky because they got just a, a fire Pokemon. Um, I love Rampardos. I don't know if I love Attack Down Rampardos. So for right now, they're going to be seeing the inside of a PC box. But that's okay. Also, I want you to know the cut of the video is me leaving this, looking up where is the name raider, seeing Slateport City, and then walking directly right down here. So I felt really silly in that cut that I was like, okay, guys, see you in a second. Gotta go, you know, and then I'm like, okay, well. Anyway, um, yeah, let's go ahead and throw Rampardos back in here. So sorry, my guy. No, I'm not gonna update the overlay on that, okay? 
You can't make me. I know some of you were like, oh, Joey, looks like you forgot to up update the overlay for Rampardos. He was in my team for like a scene. Okay, you really want me to have to go and find like a new Rampardos card and then have to like put it on there and then clip the mask. It's actually very easy. Claire taught me how to do it. It's like huge. Um, anyway. And now there's a possibility that Future Joey went in and changed the overlay. So now I, I also could possibly feel like an idiot right now if I if Future Me went and did that. So thank you. Anyway, uh, let's go back. We got to go back to Maville. We go back to Mount Chimney. We have new encounters up there. New battles. New new friends. I don't... God damn. I hate HMs. I want you guys to know every single time I'm like... I'm like, okay, time to go find HM stuff. I have to turn around and go grab one of my HM unpaid interns and then do the whole thing over again. It's very annoying. It's a very annoying system. I'm going to find Mount Chimney. I'm going to go where we need to go because I do also want to still keep this. Oh, yeah, that's the battle house. Uh, I want to keep this like under 30 minutes. Like around. Okay, like around. Let's try for a, around 30 minutes. Anyway, love you. Be right back. This episode is nowhere close to 30 minutes. I don't know where, I don't know where past me keeps getting the idea that I'm going to be like, oh yeah, I can make these videos around 30 minutes and then spends 15 of those minutes in the beauty contest. Like, I don't, I'm sorry or you're welcome for the longer episodes. I can jump? Like I knew this was kind of like the acrobat's entire thing. I just didn't know like I could. All right, we are making our way to Mount Chimney. Um, I'm not really sure, like, why I didn't go this way before, because I'm pretty sure this is just the fiery path, right? And then I just head to Mount Chimney, right? Unless there's something... Oh, wait a second. No, I might just take this thing to Mount Chimney. Grip Claw. Thanks. Um, hold on. Okay, so if I go in here, I can probably just take this bike up there, or take this tram thing. Ready to depart? Yes! Oh my god, okay. Much easier way of getting up to Mount Chimney. I thought I'd have to do like a whole walking thing again. But luckily, I don't have to. I can just see all these pixel trees. Go all the way up here on the top of this mountain. This is nice. This is this is modern technology at its finest. Anyway, we are all the way up here and I probably get a new encounter. Probably, hopefully, I suppose. Thank you for using, all right. Bye, love you. Uh, Mount Chimney. Aha. And these two, look at these two. They're caught in an intense fight. Wow. Yeah, douse them in fire. If they expand the land, there will be fewer habitats for water Pokemon. Yeah. No, that's... the Team Magma versus Team Aqua is such, like, a funny... Such a funny battle. Because, like, both of you guys are so weird. Okay, yeah, I can't get can't get in the middle of that. That does make sense. Um, meteorites pack amazing power. Team Magma wants to expand the landmass. How's that for insane? What does Team Aqua want to do again? What? Also, why are you guys all you're all using Poochianas? They couldn't get like I don't know. Call me crazy. A water Pokemon. A a fire Pokemon like. Why are they all Poochianas? Like, the main character of this story is probably just Poochiana. Just based off of how how often he's used. Uh, confound the lot of you. Let me through, you bilge rats. All right. Sorry, Archie. I'm just going to move on ahead, dude. Um, we of Team Magma are working hard for everyone's sake. Like, if there's more land, there'd be more places to live. Everyone would be happy. See, like, what are they talking about, right? Uh, anyway, Scribe Grunt, you and your Metacham are going down, buddy. This, this episode is definitely not making it within 30 minutes, I'm telling you that right now. Primordial Sea. Very weird, um, ability for a Team Magma Grunt to have, but that's fine. Let's just go into Tundral. I can, uh, flying type attack you and then I think we're dead. I think, no, you're dead, not me, hopefully. Sacred Sword, chill. 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 Alright, don't love that. Uh, Drill Peck going in. I like how he just kind of spins around. Like, 
That's more of like a, he's kind of doing donuts on him rather than like pecking him, but whatever. Uh, Tantra will get some XP. Shamongus up to 22. Good stuff, Shamongus. Uh, Bye, Knackle. Good for you. Um, rock? I know you're... I know you're Rock, right? He's gotta be. Okay, he is Rock. I was going to use Ice, but I'm like, okay, maybe... He's, like, fighting. But I think I think his... When he evolves, he becomes fighting. So, Crunch. Rock is still... Okay, he's Rock. Water? Probably, I guess. A again, can you tell? I just don't... I don't be knowing sometimes. That might hurt a little bit. Calm down. You calm down, Binacle. You calm down. Okay, good crit. Good crit. It's, it's cool to know, though, that, like, um... Usually Mega Salamence's ability is like the normal Aerial Light, Aerial Eight thing. This is very cool because I, I I don't think I've ever used Mega Salamence without randomized abilities in my entire life. So good knowledge to have. Um, we can go ahead, heal up Dundral. Twice, I did not mean to do that. Heal up uh, Shmungus again. I gotta get new new heals soon. I feel like I haven't re-upped on heals in a minute. How you doing? I already beat you, man. So if you challenge me again, uh, you're the one who tried to interrupt me, Tabitha, at Meteor Falls. Me and Tabitha. Uh, do you intend to get in our way once more? Yes. He's very upset about it. He's very upset about it. An obnoxious child, aren't you? I will crush you so that you never get in my way. I already beat him. Why am I fighting him again? Like, I'll fight him again. Uh, he only has four Pokemon, which is good. I guess he's maybe an important... He might not even be an important trainer. Or he just usually has two Pokemon. I guess that could also be the case. Um, setting up Drought for a Team Magma guy. Probably not my greatest idea. Uh, but we also have Storm Throw. So... Ouch. Ouch. That was really interesting. Uh, well, luckily, I was going to switch out anyway into Mercury. Thank you so much, Ambipom. That is, like, actually the best possible thing you could have done for me. So, appreciate you. You're dead. Sorry, but it, it you know, had to happen. Uh, a Centret. See, man, this is what I'm talking about. Like, I'm going to try as best as I can to make this lock, like... You know, edge your seat every fight, you know. Whoa, what's gonna happen? What move could they use? But, I mean, when he's lowballing me with Sentret, Seal, and uh, and Ambipong. I don't... Is this your, is this your guy, Team Magma? This is your dude? See, so that's, that's my one thing. It's like... I'm gonna try and make it balanced, best I can, in the world. Why was that not super effective to you, actually? Oh, because it also calculates. It also calculates the flying. Got it. So flying press is not super effective up against rock, because it also calculates in the flying type, which rock resists. Now you're probably wondering, Joey, why the hell did you use swift? That's a good. That's a good question. I uh, I didn't want to miss. I don't know. My bad. Anyway, Mercury is twenty-seven. So I, I actually like that's the thing. I can't use Mercury anymore, going forward. Um, so if I have to, if I have to fight a boss right now, if Mercury levels up, we can't use them for the gym. So not ideal. Um, but we won't have to. We won't have to to use Mercury here, right? Right? Probably. Uh, if we merge the explosive energy contained within the planet's core with the meteorite's power. I remember those eyes. Whoa. And that indomitable will that seems to burn behind them. Ah, uh, now I recall. You're the one who defied... I know, it was like yesterday. It's like, oh yeah, I remember you. Dude, I was... I, I talked to you yesterday. Thousands of years ago, there lived a most powerful being that was said to be capable of creating new lands. 
That's the power in which Team Magma seeks. Blah, blah, blah. Groudon. Awaken it. Mount Chimney. Here we have the meteorite. Megastone. Mount Key. Lessons. Now then, I believe it is time we begin. The time for the purge has come. See, like, he's insane, right? Uh, I do believe that I made myself quite clear when we were at last in Slateport. I warned you that any fool standing in our way would be met without mercy. I will bury you with my own Yeah, like, he could just throw me into the lava. So, a little scary that this, you know, grown man is, is fighting me up here. But that's fine. Analyst Maxi, full team of six. That's right, baby. This is what I've been waiting for. This, this is a challenge. Let's do it. Um, again, we're going to be giving him... Okay. Interesting. We're going to be giving him Drought, but that's fine because he gave himself Drought anyway. You're three levels higher. Transform, so I'm assuming you just... They don't keep their moves, right? Right? I'm going to Acid Spray you, and then I'm probably going to switch. I don't know if you keep your moves or not. I'm, I'm a little confused about that part. So... Oh! LMAO. No, yeah, he just... He, he just got nerfed into using my moves. Which is hilarious because he does not know the Acid Spray setup at all. At all. But that's fine, because he stun spawned me, which kind of sucks, actually. But I'm still Acid Spraying, so... Yeah, every Acid Spray just ramps up in damage. I think the next one will probably just kill. If I can hit it. That will be... That will be super effective. I did forget about that part. I'm, like, thinking, like, okay, yeah, Ice type. Water type. Didn't ever occur to me to use uh, a fighting type move. Sorry. I, that's on me. Um, Tyrogue, how you doing? Fairy Aura. Slay. Um, I'm out. Going to go to Tundral here. Hopefully Tundral can deal with the next few Pokemon. Get, get some levels on. Um, Hammer Arm, that's not going to hurt. Yeah, we're chilling. Easy, easy speed fell. Uh, sunlight. It's gonna fade. I don't really care. Should just be able to drill pack the hell out of the Cyrogue. All right. Bring me another. Another Pokemon to fall. Axorus. Interesting. I'm gonna go for Ice Fang here. I'm hoping my attack stat plus super effective. Dragon Breath. Uh oh. That might. See, that might do a little more than a stab. See, and my thing here is like, obviously, if I hit Ice Fang, we're fine. If I miss Ice Fang. But I would never miss Ice Fang. So we're chilling. Anyway. Little dicey there. Little dice. I gotta keep you on your toes, though. That's the thing, right? I, it's what I do. Keeping you on your toes. Uh, 23 for Tundra. Good stuff. Tundra, Weavile. I'm out of here. I'm gonna be real. You ain't keeping me in. Uh, Weston. Crap. I'm like, okay, who can I switch in here? Mercury. Weak. Weston. Weak. Four times weak. Tundra, four times weak. Shamungus, Parrot. Ty, level 11. Bumpin' Knight. Kind of the only one who can take care of this right now, unironically. And also... Yeah, so, so underleveled. I'm gonna go into Mercury. The, the chance that you have an insane Dark-type move and then you're using it right now is probably very low. Right? Okay. Whew. Um. Dude, he's kind of setting up on my ass. I'm going to heal. Uh. I'm going to heal Shamungus. Because they're not really under leveled too badly. Or maybe I just maybe I just go for the maybe I just go for the the four times super effective flying press. Oh, wait, no, it wouldn't be four times. Would it be three times? I don't know how that works. I'm just... No, I'm just going to go for this. Quick Claw. I don't know if it mattered, but hopefully it did. Okay. The point is it's very effective. 
that's the point. And we don't over-level. Right? Landorus? Oh, Jesus. Uh, uh... Would you guys believe me if I said I have no idea what type he is at all? Like, obviously, land is in his name, so I'm gonna say ground flying. And either that's gonna be right... or not. So... Don't really know which switch. Um, and Jesus, like 25 again. Let's go into, let's go into Weston. I don't think you have an ice type move, dude. Right? Obviously, he wouldn't have an ice type move. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I do want to heal up Shamungus. Um, knock off. That's fine. Okay, that was actually a lot of damage. That was a little bit of damage. There, there's 20 damage for that, really. Okay. Uh, lemonade. Gonna use it on Shumungus. I didn't need to. I could have just used it. fresh water. It's fine. Octazooka. Interesting move set for you to have here. Um. So if he is ground, if there is some ground in there, this should be hurt. Um. If there's also flying. If there's also flying, so it would be neutral. Ah, got it. Okay. So he is using Octazooka, and that's pretty much it. And he used something different for, oh, knockoff, he used knockoff. Okay, so I think Shamungus is okay here. Going to Shamungus, I know I'm parried. It sucks, but also I think we'll be okay. Um, Octazooka is gonna be neutral. Not very, not very effective, not neutral. If I can get him to use, like, if I can confirm the Octazooka, I'm going to stun spore him. Because I don't want to, I don't want to. All right. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to leave, actually. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, back on the Tundra. I am not doing a good idea of switching my Pokemon in and out. This is not a good idea. I should have sketched Octazooka when I had the chance. I no longer have that chance. But if my typing if my typing ideas are correct. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna say ground flying, at the very least. At the very least, like flying? I have I really have no idea. Never have I really had any interest in um, the, the the gins or whatever those guys are. Uh, no, I, ironically that that unironically that would have helped, but we'll just we'll just keep old moves. Um, and hopefully your last Pokemon and Mercury's okay. Mercury is not going to be able to be used in the next gym. Carnivine, how you doing, Carnivine? Listen, brother, I just gotta... I just gotta end this fight. I gotta wrap this up. So... So sorry. Um, but that was... That was an intense fight. I like that. That was pretty good. Um, I feel like... Having extremely under-leveled Pokemon in my party during that was not a good idea. Um, but nonetheless, it was, it was like, you know, it was intense. Whoa! <laughs> that was pretty funny. You are quite capable. <clears throat> I fell behind, but only by an inch. <laughs> yeah, I, I like that he just freaked the fuck out. <laughs> it's like, who is this child? Mega Mewtwo. Oh, so you repulsed the great Maxi in battle. He looks insane. You never fail to entertain me. An excellent start. This time, permit me to unleash my full strength. Once you've tasted my Pokemon's mega evolved power, you will say goodbye. Dude, what? That's cheating. Hmm? Yes, it's me. Oh? Then it is Mount Pyre. I understand. I will come at once. I'm sorry to cut our battle short, but I'm afraid I must excuse myself. Such rudeness demands rep reprimation. Take this meteorite with my apologies. You may do with it what you like. Alright. Thanks, man. It's really nice of him to do that. And I will not forget the face of a trainer who managed to thwart me in battle. I'm just... Okay. 
my name is Brendan. I got a hat. You know, that's pretty much it. And this guy's going to be like, eh, if it ain't the little scamp, but blast that Maxi. He just escaped us. And he left behind the meteorite that he's been crazy about finding. Hmm, can't be. Could he have found out where the real, real orbs are hidden? That sneaky little scientific so-and-so is always left watching his bony backside. What? Run two steps ahead of me. He likes looking at his backside? Archie. <laughs> Come on, man. Um, anyway, I, I've won the day. And I want to come over there and get that TM, whatever it is. It's got to be like a fire move in the in the games, I'm sure. But now it's a fire move. Blaze kick. Or is blaze kick a fighting move? Got to be a fight. Come on, got to be a fire move. Got to be. Place your place your bets in the comments. I'll I'll let you I'll let you decide. Ah, I knew it was a fire move. Okay, no one can learn it. Wow. All right. Well, we don't have any fire types, so that makes sense. Actually, we have never once found a fire type. We have found a lot of water types. We haven't found a lot of fire types. So, uh, that'll be today's episode of Pokemon Omega Ruby Randomized Nuzlocke. Guys, I mean. I'm looking forward to the to the remainder of this lock. I I want to see if I can get like an encounter up here to end the episode off. Jagged Pass. Can I get a Jagged Pass encounter? Let's get a Jagged Pass encounter. I know I did not even land close to 30 minutes. I already know it. I already know this is going to be a 40, 48 minute episode. So let's just catch this guy. Hmm. Well... Not only did I not heal, I was not prepared for this fight at all, but that's Muna. Listen, I love Muna. I love uh, Masharna very much. They're very close to my heart for being from Gen 5. There are also Muna and Musharna. So, kind of a shame, but what are you going to do? Um, stuns for you. I'm assuming I can just catch you, Muna. Right? Like, you're, you're, you, you're just gonna get in the ball, right? I only have, I'll use Pokeball. Come on. So this Moon is gonna get in the ball. Right now. We don't even have to talk about it because of how in this ball this Moon is. And, see, I shouldn't have talked about it. Why do you have Spark? Don't have Spark. D don't do that. That's, like, not cool. Um, bumping, just tank some damage, I guess. <laughs> I need you to tank some damage for a second while I throw another Great Ball, buddy. Um, man. And, okay, well, now that's good. They didn't have a Water-type move, right? I, I have not been paying attention nearly as much as I should be. I'm just going to throw the Great Ball because I guess you get a Great Ball. You, you've, you've, you've argued your way up into a Great Ball, so that's fine. Um, great. Okay, awesome. And now... Grab this Muna a name. Send you guys on your way. Um, because, I don't, I don't know. You got other stuff to do today. You got a and d session to watch tonight if you're watching this the day it comes out. And if you're not watching this the day it comes out, guess what? You still have a and d session to watch. Like, if you want to, also. Because they, I'm going to be uploading them to YouTube. So, you know, that's a very important thing. Anyway, speaking of YouTube. This comment right here. Has no idea what's going on, skips all dialogue, doesn't read signs. LOL. Yeah. What about it? Man, now I don't want to name my Muna after you. You made fun of me. But, them's the rules. So, gonna name this guy after the commenter who broke my heart. DMBs. Because I actually, I actually kind of like, I, I like that name for this Muna, honestly. And you're right, I, I do need to, um, <laughs> I do need to get better at reading some dialogue, I'll admit. Please, please don't be better than Muna. No way you're going to be better than Muna. Yeah, I would have taken that over Muna. Not going to lie, I would have, I would have taken that. And I, see, I hate Nuzleaf being the guy that I run into here because I'm going to like, see, here's the thing. You don't have Pursuit, so it's fine. But if he had Pursuit and then used it there, nah, I would have been done. 
That would have been so. I would have been so annoying. That's the first death. Can you imagine? I'm actually gonna like heal everybody in the party, or at the very least, like Mercury. I'll switch Mercury to the mid. Anyway, you guys you don't even don't even worry about this. I'm just gonna get home, um, and then like I don't know. I guess I'll I'll see you tomorrow. That there was already like such a good outro point for this episode, and now I've just kept it going longer than it needed to be. So it's kind of like it's kind of like when you don't stop the bit at a right time, and the bit just keeps going. And then all your friends are like, Joey, you're kind of, you're kind of killing the bit by keeping it going on so long. So, ladies and gentlemen, this bit is over. This episode is over. My love for you will never be over. Like the video. I love you. I appreciate you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.